Yo, what's going on? Episode 173 of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast is here. This week, the gang's all here. Kelly, Scott Vibe, myself. Here to talk all the <laughs> schmuckery you're used to. So get ready. Episode 173 is on its way. I said way. no more goody two shoes. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Fuck you too, it's likewise. This is what they left me in when they ain't choose the right side. Ran inside my sight lines. Feeling this in my mind. Venomous synonyms. Nigga, I become a python. Cause y'all really push me to the edge. Ain't no more rebuilding once it's fire on the bridge. Keep an eye out when trying to feed a dog who ain't been fed. Cause after you feed them, they might use the strength to bite your hand. It's crazy, I know. Thinking how could they do it? Play with negative. Way too long and they show me proving that so no more goody two shoes, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Fuck you too. All right, we here. What's cracking? What's going on? Nothing, nothing. I want Kelly to talk into her microphone today. Unfortunately, nope. yeah, we're gonna have y'all might hear a little buzzing in the background and whatnot. Somebody is uh I'm about to say, what is that? Seems like they're destroying an, 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 an entire tree across the, the, uh, the hallway. That's what that is? It's a whole tree. I don't know. I'm just making that shit up. I'm not about to say that. No, but that's what it is. It's some here, sort of miter saw, some shit like that, some sort of sand blaster. Somebody's sand doing blaster. some artistic. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Somebody's doing some artistic work over there. Oh, so you still wanna you still wanna talk I to got shit? Beef. Uh, I huh? Got beef. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't make me bring. Don't make me bring that topic back. I really don't want to bring that don't. topic back. Up. I can't. Yeah, yeah. What the? I can't uh, talk it. Nope. 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 nope, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it's gonna be we taboo. Take we it's, take gonna be, it's gonna be taboo or whatnot. You got people walking in off the street, like, hey, and another motherfucking thing that I had said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we're not doing I that. Did post it in the group, oh, though. snap, I'm drunk. You, you posted it in the group. I posted the question. In the Scott group. Vibe is doing the entire podcast today with a do rag on. Yeah, I'm, I'm wild. Gang member. Uh, <laughs> Gang sorry. member. I'm sorry. <laughs> Then he took it off like it was unprofessional. Like, my bad, man. I would like, <laughs> I'd like to apologize to everybody else for my On the my behalf hunk. of the Durag community, I'd like to apologize. Oh, the Durag community. I'm sorry, Bow Wow. You know. Oh my God. The worst said, pictures. Boward Woward. The worst pictures. Boward Woward. When is you go crazy. into the hair salon, the hair shops. Yeah. To to you know buy hair supplies. Right. And then there's the whole men's section, mm-hmm. and it's the do rag. And is Bow Wow on the cover yeah. of the packages? It re- like, it's like, the worst pictures <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how much they paid him <laughs> to to be hey. the, the do rag ambassador. Is that hey. his brand of do rags? Yeah, I is think it? So. Bow Wow got all. He got to have some kind shit. of financial right. That's you know to to be on the picture. Is he licensing his likeness or is that like the 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 Bowward do rags? I don't know. The, yo, All I know is that you like calling at least this four, man Bauer. It's like at least crazy. four different packages, <laughs> and depending on the type of do rag, he has it on in the picture. Yeah, but it's like it's a real touched up picture. And his waves ain't even that crazy. <laughs> yo, it's not even about his waves, right? So here's the funny thing about <laughs> Mr. Bauer. Because I'm just saying, what was, the, what was the last time he let a song out? So well, he yeah. got to have some kind of yeah. income. Well, no, he doing he way. doing his. Well, I mean, he's he, doing his he should be eating off of his royalties. He's he's yeah, like what? But he's young enough to still have some shit coming out. Bow he Wild. not he not releasing another song and for the rest of his life. Bow Wow almost forty years. He's old. done. He's done. Bow Wow can't be forty. Bow Wow is 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 gunning forty down. Pause. Thirty five. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo, my. laughs> he's gunning forty down. Yo. That's my favorite line in the movie ever. Damn. What? Um, 36. And I, said, I, I told you he was running 40. Yeah, he's like, he can't be near 40. Yeah, that nigga is. It reminds me of um, Mission Impossible. Remember the uh, the bull that was in Mission Impossible 2? Ronda the Bastard Down. That's my <laughs> shit. Yo, you want to know what? My, my accent game is the shit, though. I feel like, okay. mm-hmm. I, I, which, which one did I see? I think I saw the ghost one. What? Uh, the Mission Impossible. But he was running through the sand, Ghost Recon, Ghost, yeah, whatever. I think it was the, because he came out with another one, right? A new one? There's yeah, two one more. that just came out. So the two, so not this one, not the one before that, but the one before that one. Yeah. That one, that, that was the Recon? only one I saw. Yeah, Ghost Recon. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's John. Impossible Ghost Recon. Because I just, I just looked at them like they just was like the typical action movies. They ain't really had much mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. But it was actually all right. I was like, all right, cool. 
All right, well, let's start this damn podcast, man. Let's get it started. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Damn. Let me play a song. <laughs> Here it go. Ghost, Bing. Ghost Protocol. There, yeah, that's what it was. Ghost Protocol. That's the one I saw. It's pretty good. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode 173 of the Mr. Know It All podcast. I am him. He is I. It is me. Oh, shit. Mr. Know It All, your favorite podcaster's favorite podcaster, even if you didn't know that he podcasted. And podcasting and multimedia's lovable smart Gulo. <laughs> to my right. Hello. How you doing? Got got the wig all done up, press and curled out. Oh, Somebody see that Dominica. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. I can't have <laughs> no in my hair out. <laughs> It's Kelly, the Q Meister, oh. the Q Diamond Phillips, mm. Qster, the Q Dog, the Q Kelly Q. Oh, like right, and to, <laughs> you would just cut me like <laughs> just. Damn, I didn't know you the was going into was, a whole Spanish production. You was Omar go la como estas, a b d three b and all that. Taco Bell, I mean. <laughs> That was racist. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was Spanish. That was there you taco. Go. There's Even though Taco Bell is I, Mexican, but that, <laughs> well, that is Spanish. The, you, yeah, but it is, it's different though. No, they, they, they don't like being mixed up mm-hmm. with other Hispanics. They don't like being mixed up. Uh, most, no, most but I was talking about don't. the language. Oh, yeah, it's well, not a language Puerto, called Mexican. Puerto Ricans and Mexicans speak the same language. <laughs> Yo, yes. The comments. <laughs> yes, made it is Sunday morning. The comments made by Scott. Fiber, <laughs> I thought Scott it was like Fiber, you know how oh, you thought they you thought they you spoke Puerto Rican. Like, yeah, and Mexican spoke Mexican. You know, because like you know, you go to like DR they or you go to like Honduran. What, what do Dominicans speak? DR. <laughs> They they all speak. It's the dialect different that's different, types right? Types of Spanish. Right. Uh, see, see. So they may not. If I say chicken, like it's in different. Mexico, like it's yeah. different. It is not in Puerto Rico. Like, pollo, pollo, like, like pollo platano, is the same everywhere. Like, like platano is is dr and Puerto Ricans and and they all Mexicans. They all say plantains differently, and they mm-hmm. all like they all. I don't know. Like it's the same universally, but mm-hmm. they say it and pronounce it differently. Right. I right. learned that. But pollo is the same everywhere. Yeah, it's still chicken. So yeah. here's the thing. <laughs> first yeah. of all. I agree with y'all, but the Spanish is only broken. It's only broken. They don't make it up new words or creating a whole new dialect or whatnot. It may be a different accent because of where they're from. But the West Indies, when you start talking about speaking Spanish, they basically kind of all speak the same type of Spanish. A little bit different, but it's not like, you know what I mean, pollo to them is like bloto or some shit like that. No, it's the same thing. So Brazilian and Portuguese, like they all yeah, do it's, the same. I mean, it's a port, what, in essence, it's like a broken type Portuguese. Yeah. Okay. Like any language when it transfers over, like we speak a different type of English. True. You right. As saying? opposed to the As English, to the English, British. Right. Exactly. Right, right, that's that's okay. how it works. Okay. That's how it works. And that's Scott vibe. <laughs> Absolutely. The vibe that is Scott. Insert oh. claps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, get with us on IG at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod, the Facebook fan page at Mr. Know It All Podcast. Fan page, Mr. Know It All podcast on TikTok. Viral. <laughs> and please, as always, send all of your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail account at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. That's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. 290,000 views on one of the, uh, what you call it, the broken what? up on one of the clips from last week. Wow. Oh. 290,000. That is great. Clap it up. That Clap is it absolutely. up for us. Now, as soon as we... Wait, you really clap? I'll insert it. Okay. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, anyway, my Lord. Listen. All I know is I went to last weekend... You want to talk to that microphone? <laughs> there we go. Last Pull it close. weekend, uh-huh. I was at my cousin's baby shower. Right. And Did he have a Burberry my... shirt on? No. No. Okay. Pink, pink. One of my younger cousins... <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, her and her mother live in the same home. Right. She says she yelled down the hall, Mom, Kelly online, and they talking about sucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. She's 25. She's 25. Yeah, yeah. But she was like, What? She, and she running down the hall to show her the clip. I was like, 
I was just asking a question. <laughs> it was nothing that I was saying I was doing. She was like, but we enjoyed it. We was cracking up. You so definitely are the one that the asked whole, that question. Whole link, yeah. She definitely had the whole link is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them the whole show. You sent them the whole link is nuts. Pause. The whole thing is wild. I was That's like, the, here go the whole show. Watch right, the whole show. Right, right, right. Oh, man. So, yeah, I guess we had all intros and whatnot that we can handle. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, talking that, talking that. Look, you can't. During the podcast, watch the podcast. Some of y'all can, but no. This is a good show. That's actually, yeah. Oh, my God. Because what if they get more interested in the podcast that's on the TV than... Then it makes them go to that podcast. Oh, that was the show with Cousin with Sissy on it. But then that don't. But then that takes away from this one. Well, right? What the hell you want me to do this, guy? <laughs> Shit, goddamn. We can have like a nice little ambient background up there, what? like a nice little screensaver. No, but because I like this show. I can't like this show. It's my favorite show. I know. This is this is a good show. <laughs> That's the most arrogant, the fucking narcissistic shit in the world or whatnot. Oh Doing a show with your shit playing in the background is, is crazy. Oh, man. So. I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is nuts. All right. So, I guess it is time so we can uh, go ahead and yeah, reach into that cabinet or the windowsill that Kelly likes or... The back of the ice cold refrigerator, which you know, you know, whatever floats your boat with the condiments, it grabbed that good old ketchup. All right, <laughs> always, always put that in there and whatnot. All right, which I want to talk about first. I think this is what I want to talk about first. Oh, Lord, I want to talk about TikTok versus Universal. Oh, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. huh? um, so before we do that, we get on the camera, Steve. Um, before we do that, no, let's do that. So, Taya called me frantic the other day. Oh, Jesus. Keith, they're, they're, they're blocking the sound on all the videos. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. All types of the old videos that the sound is just getting blocked on. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I mean, we was, we had been cussing from the beginning. There was a whole bunch of Frank Stan references when, when, when we put the video out, so I'm pretty sure that they knew that. Um, I was like, are you sure it's not the new video? She was like, no. I was like, oh, they must be blocking them. Then I realized I had heard something on the news that Universal Music Group and oh. TikTok are at a stalemate when it comes yeah. to contractual negotiations. Mm-hmm. And this has to do with the fact that... This one right here. It has to do with the fact that there are contracts between these music labels. Because you know it's only three music labels. You know what I'm saying? You got Sony, you got Warner, and you got Universal. Universal has been a front for every other, for damn near every, they, they run one third of the music industry. I believe it. So all them Jones that you, all them other companies you thought were really companies, I mean, they're companies, they're subsidiaries, but they're yeah. under Universal. Like, they have branched off into the most, I'm talking everything from MCA to freaking Def Jam to uh, uh, um, Atlantic, Atlantic, you name it, they're on it, right? Mm. So, if you put music up, all this music was taken down mm. oh, from, from TikTok. Mm. And right now, it's a stalemate. Honestly, I think this is a battle that think Universal thinks they can win. I don't think they can win. I think TikTok, because of its worldwide reach and because of the fact that the other two-thirds of the music industry is actually on board, I just don't think that uh, Universal can win this. So, so, so it's basically contractual disagreements between what? How much is being paid out, not being paid enough? Well, here's the problem, right? Every other, the other two-thirds of the music groups actually have contracted artists to TikTok negotiations mm. artists get paid off of what they do On for tiktok, TikTok right universal doesn't have that because universal is greedy as hell <laughs> so basically oh, this wow. is so tiktok is like yo bro the problem that yo, we're bro. having the problem that we're having is that y'all not really paying your artists because that's what i really want to talk about i want to talk about, about the fact say, yeah, yeah, yeah i want to yeah. talk about the fact that why is it not going well with y'all you know the reason why because tiktok wanted to put something forth to make sure that your fucking artists get paid Absolutely. and y'all don't want to do that 
You can't you can't overpay our artists. Yeah, Only we get to underpay them. There you go. Oh, wow. you Absolutely. Can't, that's basically what that's that exactly is. what it is. You can't rape our artists. We rape our artists. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what we do. So so essentially they're like, oh, all right, well, we just gonna take our music off. Cool. Now here's the problem with that. There are other music, there's other music out there. And you got independent though. people. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing, here's also the thing now. You can now start to make your own shit and go viral yourself. You could have did it before, but now guess what? One third of the music industry is out of the fucking way. Get out of the way and whatnot. Now I can make my own hip hop shit. Now the algorithms said, is yeah, free. The, algori- the algorithm mm-hmm. is freed up. Yep. I don't know what y'all what do y'all think about that. I mean, <clears throat> I think this is just a turn, another turn in the music industry where we get to see just exactly who is Who's the big dogs? This is this is a bucking of the for for the first time in history. This is a bucking of the system, and mm-hmm. it's a bucking of the 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 bigger the bigger big dogs in the industry. So right, now right. so now we get to see them lose because Universal is not going to win this. TikTok is constantly growing because of and the short term, uh, short form and mm-hmm. long form content that can be made. Uh, things going viral. It's it it's its formula is fresher and more nuanced than just a record label who is sticking to its old guns of just right. uh, taking artists and whoring them out and then paying them pennies on the dollar and mm-hmm. like on on the back end. Right. So right, it's right. just like for for them to for them to like to really do that. It's it's number one. Y'all really showing y'all true colors, and I think anybody that's that's with these inner workings of these labels, whether mm-hmm. it's you directly signed to Universal or you signed to one of the subsidiaries. Right. I think now if you if you didn't understand anything about the fight before with yeah. getting paid what you're supposed to be paid for your IP, this is the time to get out now. This is the time to start doing audits. This is the time to start doing whatever you need to do to yeah. make sure that all of your contractual obligations on both sides mm-hmm. Are 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 either being fulfilled, and if they're not, then you need to renegotiate or just or or just go and drop off and go independent. I know I know that's easier said than done, but I mean, what can you do? Like net, like now you see that the people that you're potentially signed to or working for that you thought was maybe you know had the same interests as you, they're fucking you over. And TikTok th- wants to pay you. Yeah, I think but. it's also it has. And here's the thing. If you take away, it's almost, you're actually cracking into a situation that helps the livelihood of your artist. Yeah. You just don't care as much, though. That's the, I think that that's the problem that I'm having. Yeah. If you don't really give a shit, just say, just say that. Say that you don't give a shit. The problem is that you don't give a shit. Yep. So what you're doing is now you're putting yourself in a position to say, okay, cool, we like y'all. You know what I'm saying? That we respect what this is, but we really, really don't give a fuck what y'all talking about mm-hmm. because... We have a certain way of doing business, and it's going to hurt the up and coming artists. Look at the, the artists that catch a lick off of what goes on on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Somebody to create a dance about a song that you didn't hear, a Money Long, or somebody, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Dua Lipa, these type of people or whatnot. I don't even know if they're signed today, but I'm just saying people like that that catch a lick off of something that happens on TikTok. Somebody creates a dance, somebody does a step, somebody creates a crazy challenge or something with their music playing in the background. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, it's a thing for them. Right now, it's just not. Yeah. And they just pulling the plug on that because of the fact that, no, it has nothing to do with the artist. It's, it's a fair trade. They're looking at it like, yo, all right, we need our contract negotiation. Like, you pay us off of what we do, and then we delegate the money to everybody else. And, and it's bullshit. You think anything about it, Kelly? Any opinion? You know, I know you guys are, you know, on the music side, so you guys are really invested in that part of it. So right. I'm not that familiar, but I do agree with, you know, Scott, where, you know, the shit is going to, one, is hitting the fan as mm-hmm. it is now, but yeah. you're going to find out who has the real power. Yeah. Yeah. You're Absolutely. Gonna find out who has the real power. Well, peace and blessings, prayers to everybody's involved and whatnot. I would love to see one of these big powerhouse companies fall to their knees to the little guy yep. because you don't, you can't control an algorithm. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Um, <laughs> Talk about uh Nikki and Meg. Yeah. Um I didn't hear either one. His versus what was the other song called? Bigfoot? Yeah. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot is crazy. I, I only heard clips of whatever was the most viralist parts. So I I I I didn't get a chance to sit down and listen to either of them because I, I think I think female disc records are ass. 
<laughs> yeah, you yeah. think? I think female this record. I mean, it's so ass. corny. Like, it's like so ass and so cringe. I, I think that you know the whole Megan's Law thing is. You said I just, what? I just think Nikki's too old for that. No, you're never too old for beef. I'm about to say you're never too old. Never too no, old no, no, for no. You're never beef. too old for beef. Pause. But as some, <laughs> never too old. For beef. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. All right, all right, get back on track. Nasty you, brain. I'm just I was, saying. I was you, fine. Who stopped? <laughs> but Who you, stopped? But he stopped. But then you had to reiterate it with your with your Sheila E voice. <laughs> never, never too old. old. <laughs> that, was, that was a Sheila E. That was vanity. Oh, I'm anyway. sorry. I apologize. Go ahead. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just, you know, at the point of where both of them are in the game, I just think she's too old to be beefing with someone that much younger than her. No. Like, no, 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 not true. You can catch I mean, these you hands. Can, you can catch these hands, <laughs> but I mean, we really these, going to. You can catch these like, arthritic old ass hands if you want. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let us see. Now, like, I will say um, that it, like, it, it did I, go too far when they started messing with Meg's mom's, yeah, you know, grave. grave and all of that. And now they want to yeah, go the, the the fact that mess with Nikki's. Mentioned. Yeah, they they, they want to go mess with Nikki's dad's. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like yeah. his his joint. Like it's that that's going too far. But that's all on the fans. Now here's the thing. That's on the fans. So is it now? Was Nikki justified, even though it was corny as hell? Like you, you fucking man, man, she did. Like I hate that shit. <laughs> oh lord, whatever, right? Oh lord, was nothing was is off limits and, and nothing is beef. off limits because no. she not, said something limits. about her her husband and her, you know we yep. know for a fact that Nikki's husband and her brother have done jail time. Actually, her brother is actually in jail yep. for sexual abuse. I say, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're I guess they would be considered under Megan's law. You know what I'm saying? So she did that that clever the, little yeah, clever little flip yeah. with Megan's law. Uh-huh. Cool, but now Nikki heard it and really went in went after that. I wish it would have translated to a better rap song. Honestly, yeah, you know I'm saying because like that how shit hard is not it? it at all? Yeah, like, like I don't I don't want to hear. It. And then it's like it's like. Nick, I don't want to hear you doing all these kinds of different voices on this di- <laughs> on this diss track when you're supposed to be killing Meg. Like, yeah, you would think that, right? Like, bro, where is the Nikki? Where is Monster Nikki? Where is where is fucking where is Motorsport Nikki? That per- that person doesn't ghostwrite for her anymore. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I mean, Safari, maybe, Safari maybe. was not right. He, I don't believe he wrote Monster. I don't believe he wrote that Monster verse. I don't, I don't, I, now I believe he probably wrote all of the other little bubblegum shit, mm-hmm. but I don't think he's writing the monster. Who else was, who else was ghostwriting for the girls? Wasn't it, uh, wasn't Partisan Fontaine? Oh, he was writing for, uh, Cardi and Mick. Probably, okay. probably right. other artists oh, that, that's you know, what I'm okay, known, all right, so he, he was writing for Cardi and Mick. Okay. Who else? I mean, these, this is what I'm saying. My thing is that the reason why this shit is one of those things and the reason why when somebody is, when a girl writes a diss record it's and ass. going at a girl. Right. But the only one that seemed like it made a little, what you call it, even though it be offbeat. Sorry, Rem. You be offbeat as shit. You know what I'm saying? Facts. She, but she went crazy. So, actually, so, that's yeah. a, actually, that's a good point. Nikki's diss in, in, in that beef was better than... Mm-hmm. And it still wasn't much of a diss. It, yeah, it really So may, maybe just it's not maybe her just, thing to diss. Yeah, maybe. No, female female beef is just ass. Because look so, at Ice Spice and Lotto. Look at, look at that. Why are they beef? That's crazy. Like... When she said, <laughs> like her, Nikki, the, the this Nikki, song is called Nikki and fart, Cardi bro. Beef. The, this song is called Fart. She thinks she the shit. shit. Parentheses, fart. Oh my God. <laughs> she thinks she the like, shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about right now? Like, Nikki and Cardi, like, they actually this came. This stupid. Was getting ready to come to blues. Okay, that's beef. Right. <laughs> that's yeah. real beef. Right. right. Yeah. That's real beef. No, you know, because you threw a shoe at me. This internet beef so shit. What, so what, right. man, threw a shoe at me. Is crazy. This internet. Uh-huh. And then not any, and then not any. I'm like, what, bro? Is this the dish? This is the dish. And people track. were disappointed. From my understanding, people were disappointed because whatever she did on live or whatever, yeah, she that's said all the same she thing. recorded. He said the same thing. She didn't record anything new because she, she just recorded. That. She didn't write anything. That's the whole thing, bro. <laughs> I think, yo, honestly, this is the problem. Can I be honest with you? Thanks. All right, so music today. These motherfuckers are doing so much off of what they would call a vibe. Mm-hmm. No pun intended, Scott. They're doing so much off of what they would call a vibe that these motherfuckers are forgetting to do the actuality, the, the, the actual, actual work. thing. The work. Actual, yep. The actual They're not work. doing shit. Yeah, man. They're not doing a damn thing. These motherfuckers are sitting up there and they're doing just regular shit. 
they're getting in there and they're saying to themselves, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm a let the beat play mm-hmm. and I'm freestyle a little bit mm-hmm. and I'm a chop off the words that don't make sense. No, that, that's exactly what the fuck they do. That's exactly what it. I mean, but that's not a that's not a new practice. It's, it's, not, it, it's just poorly done by some people. It's poorly done it's by poorly a lot of these done. niggas because they're not talented enough to even be doing some thorough shit. Mm-hmm. I oh, are we gonna talk about this later on and whatnot. Yeah, because that's something you want to bring up. Yeah, but, it don't matter. It's perfect yeah, yeah. segue. No, it's perfect. It is a perfect segue. You want to segue into it now? Then I mean, we can continue like let's, with this, let's continue with, with, with the comment and then, and then we'll, just we'll, segue we'll go into, into that. Right, yeah. right. Um, <laughs> what do y'all think about? Drea, oh Michelle, my god, oh my god, dating Jalen Green, and she supposedly allegedly is pregnant right now. Double standard city, man. Guess what? Mm-hmm. Isn't in uh, Scotty Pippen wife dating Michael Jordan's son? It's the same shit. No, it's not. It's not the same shit it's at not all. Not the same shit, Kelly. It's cool. not. It's you sound like you woman, sound like it's she's older like a cougar woman and a younger man. She sound like a cougar. It's just not the same shit, though. It's not. It's really not, it's you not. know? Because let's talk about mm-hmm. the reasons why right. an older let's, man would date a younger woman. Exactly. Why? Why do you think that is, Kelly? It, by the way, before we... It's creepy. Yeah, it's mad. It's creepy. creepy. Yeah. We're not justifying it, but, but we're just painting a picture. Why, why, would a, why a man would date a woman 15 years his junior? What do you think, Kelly? Because he could. Okay, right, you can, but what are the other cerebral, what, what are the more cerebral reasons? reasons? Sex. Huh? Sex. Okay, dig right. deeper. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. To look good plump, on your arms? Plump, no, plump, okay, plump, that, that's, plump, that's another one. Plump low ass. You know what I'm saying? Nice sit, show off what Nice you could titty pull. sitting up. I was thinking more because he a cornball and he can't get bitches his eight, women. <laughs> women. <laughs> women. <laughs> women. I know. You want to have a bit become a bitch bucket for, for Scott and whatnot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Women. Right. Because they can't get they can't get women their age because women their age see how much of a cornball that they are. Is that the fact though? Or let's Ooh. keep it a thousand or whatnot. Because it, it ain't because less stress dealing is, with somebody younger. That, it ain't right. less stress. Right. Is but these Michael niggas, Jordan's wife younger than him now? The second wife. Because the first wife was older than him. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, because he got all his kids and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was married for 20 years. Yeah, that's different, of course. We so locked yeah, in. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, we locked in. Right. Yeah, I'm, so let me get this straight. So 20 years later or whatnot, yeah, when I'm 40, 40 something years old, I'm going to find me another 40 something years old when I'm Michael right. Jordan? No, no I'm going to get this 20 something year old. That's what Blair Underwood did. Blair Underwood is not Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> and Blair, I'd rather just, have Blair Underwood than Michael Jordan. We know, Kelly. We know. We know. The, we know. The, the know modest. The we modest. Know yeah, exactly. I want to go with the less impressive jacket. No, uh, I've only had a crush on him since I was like 12 years old. Oh, uh, but then you biased. Exactly. <laughs> then you, you just you, you in just... love with Blair fucking and he beat, Underwood. And he beat women at every... <laughs> yeah, Blair Underwood would beat a bitch ass. The only one he didn't beat up was uh, Jada Pinkett. <laughs> Will Smith was standing all set like, y'all what you would, nigga. Um, but my thing is, this is my thing. We know the reason why men, exactly. older men, can and are more obliged to go ahead and get a younger woman. Like, let's keep it a bean or whatever. There's less miles on the tread. Yeah, it's less miles on the tread. I want, the, I want the less mileage. That's what you think. It did. She oh, look good. Less mileage. You mean that like you, that she's more, you, you know, think. easier to control. I'm all, speaking in generalities. Types of, but I'm speaking in generalities. I got. I. I'm not worried so much about what each individual person is gone through mm-hmm. and whatnot. You're absolutely right. It could be a 47-year-old out there with 12 bodies. It could be a 47-year-old out there with 1,200 bodies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the game you playing, and I'm, I'm just playing the odds. You know what I'm saying? So if if this young John got 1,200 bodies, you know what I'm saying, then maybe it's something that I could say to myself, hey, look, I'm not even worried about it because I don't know. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, that's what men are doing. They're doing it for very superficial reasons. Now let's talk about why women do it. Michael Jordan, wife, y'all get me. Well, let's talk about why women do it. Women do it, on the other hand, for this reason. The dinero, my friend. The dinero. What's the, what's the, uh, 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 where the money resides, where the, the money, money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. They do it all for the simple for the fact. Money. They catching a fucking lick. Drea's old ass. We've never Drea seen. Is, Drea is yeah. 39. This nigga's 21. She is 18 years older than him. She's picking this nigga up. 
Isn't and having a baby with her? Something? Huh? I said, isn't her son like the same age? Yes, like a year, yes, like yo. two years younger. Which is ridiculous. Come on, man. She's yeah. doing that. She's caught a lick. Your 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 supposed or current alleged current mm-hmm. boyfriend mm-hmm. is the same age as your son. This is how, nuts. Do, how is this not something that is like setting off some red flags and yet like in your I don't head. understand it myself, Kelly. Do you get it? Do you understand? Would you like even the thought process of it? Do you exactly. understand it? It just oh, yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. It's mad disgusting when the man does it because of the reasons that he do it. But the woman is catching a fucking lick when she does it. Now it's, you're mature, it's, it's, but most women think of it in the opposite fashion. I mean, it's facets. disgusting all the way around. I mean, even if I did entertain the physicalities with someone my son age, that is something that happens in that room and nobody finds out about. True. I'm not gonna yeah. be out there <laughs> with him. But, like, but if no, he was, what if he was rich? We're not gonna be seen. A. Uh, everything. The A. No. The A. No. No. The no, everything A is ain't like, for outside. Everything ain't for outside. You can't keep the. No, you're not gonna be able to hide the rich nigga. You're not gonna be you able to hide. You can't do that. Yeah. Sure can. When, 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 no, I, you can't. Once, can. you, once you start pulling up in the in me and like the, the Gucci and all of that and the, and the nice the nice cars and the, and the roses being sent to the to the workplace and because you know because you know rich niggas do that. Rich niggas do that. They do all sorts of flexy shit. So here's the problem. Trying, trying to be seen. Yeah, no, but it, for you. No, and no. then it's just seen because. Kelly. Well, you are. Flowers, but see, you're flowers. still speaking. <laughs> remember, you're still speaking. <laughs> you're still speaking as Kelly Quinn. Yeah, okay. That's all so at the, exactly. So what we do know about Kelly Q is the fact that Kelly Q is looking for the relationship. All right, uh, so let's stop the fuckery, duckery, mm, and schmuckery right that's now, what right? That's what I'm not looking for. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm not looking for. You're not for. looking for no young boy. We got you. Right. But what I'm, I'm trying- not looking for no old boy either. But right. what we're saying is- I'm not looking for anything. There are a lot of people that are your age that don't have that same type of integrity to say no to somebody that's young and rich. Kelly don't even know she don't have that integrity because that one hundred million dollar nigga. What the bull say? What, what did Cam Newton's baby yet. mom say? What did Cam Newton's baby mom say? She said, "I always said it wouldn't be me and whatnot. Yeah, it wouldn't be me until that hundred million dollar nigga putting that pressure on you." Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, and, and oh, that's yeah. that's the comedian, the difference. Jasmine. Like, that's why niggas don't never say niggas will say some shit like, you know what, man? I don't, I don't really see what she I don't see. Want a Tyler Perry shoes. What I can see, what a girl girl that's like my daughter is like 21 22 until you're in a strip club and the 21 22 year old ass is in your face mm-hmm. this is difference like 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 we not we talk about what we wouldn't do or what we won't do or how we would conduct Bo- ourselves until we're in that situation bottom line like is right. there there Man, is always something that somebody is after you said you can't tell what story is a, is a story but i can't tell the story because it's too closely related to people but oh okay you want to yeah. bleep the names Damn. for what you call nah. it? you can't make nah. the story up i can't, I can't, nah. even, I can't even oh as soon as i names. like i would know as what soon, you talk about well, when you said you it you wouldn't know but if it gets out there like my whole family or not. So now you're scared because oh, we're going damn. viral. That's what it yeah. is. Oh. Look, look, look. They, they catch her on tape talking about sucking we're dick. Going. And it's over now. She like, well, she got to filter tape. herself. Like, oh, the, oh I, you know, we was just having fun. Like, shit. It's Kelly, just, this, it's just a question. A, a million of, people seeing this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Like, knowing somebody so long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's certain things, like, especially when people are related to people. It's just certain things I can't do. So Okay. I just, Okay. And there's no way, like I'm sitting here in my head trying to figure a way around this story. Can't figure it a way around. Mm-mm. Tap Dance dancing. Too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tap, tap dancing. All yeah. right, Savion. Oh, Savion. <laughs> Gregory Hines. Where the Gregory Hines? Where the Gregory Hines? Where the Gregory Hines? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, oh my lord. Oh man. I can't. But yeah, that's that. That's so, just that. That whole shit. So is just so. Nasty. All right, let's talk about this for one second, and we can get out. We can we can just stop this and go on and other on. shit. Listen. So, yo, let's talk about how if something in the black community lasts long enough, that shit is like Batman. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Why the fuck is the fade the low? Caesar with the with the fade on the side starting to become a fucking called the Travis Kelsey. It's a joke. No, it's not a joke, y'all. It's yo. a joke. All right, you so you tell that we shit know, to Taylor we, Swift's we people. Know, They're colonizing them. fades. 
Yes, no. they are. Oh. They, have, they have gentrified the black haircut. How do you already know? Oh my that god! Is is our? Didn't they try to? Yo, they tried to. What the fuck? They they tried to do it with do rags. They called no, it a no, protective no. hair unit or no, some no. shit. <laughs> I'm what like, the they, fuck they is tried, a protective they tried hair to do unit? It with uh, Kim Kardashian with the braids, the right? Backs. The uh, the Bo Derek the, the, braids, the, the, the boxing braids, yeah. the box braids. Like See, what? That's what I'm saying. The straight like, backs, come on, bro. the straight backs that I've back, been wearing. First of all, the straight backs that I've been wearing all my life. I'm 47. Right. The straight backs that my mom had and my dad's had when I was a baby. The straight backs that our people wore. D- Straight Just backs what? under your wig the since 1987. Back. Not exactly. The, the Cleo. The the old dogs. Before that. You know what I'm saying? The Meek Millies. Shit, the motherfucking you know, the Iversons. Our, our people in the fields. <laughs> the Riley from Boondocks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what to be talking about. Our you know people, what I'm saying? Look, our people's in the, in the cotton fields. Our people's, you know. I'm not working. picking no cotton with corn rules. Oh, my crazy. man asked me a question real quick that leads right into this, though, before you said it. So, so oh, that's, first and foremost, stop gentrifying our, our fucking haircuts. Absolutely. That's fucked up. Yes. Would, you, uh, kick pot, would you pick cotton for uh, $3,500 an hour? Or three, no, sorry, $350 an hour. Would you pick cotton? $350 an hour? Yeah. Where we going next, <laughs> Massa? <laughs> Where oh, we going Lord. next? Heavy Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, yeah. Yo, wow, this is a terrible time to ask that question. Holy shit. Very Heavy Black so. History Month. <laughs> did, did y'all see my TikTok for uh, about... Um, yeah, the guy, yeah, the juke. juke. Yeah, yeah the he the not juke. made that whole situation up, right? <laughs> it sounded believable. Yeah, I know, it sounded it's believable. I tried to make one every day, but I couldn't get to one yesterday. <laughs> that shit's funny as hell and whatnot. I'm I'm, I know, I definitely made that whole shit up. juking and breaking the ankles of your <laughs> slave master. <laughs> <laughs> Cleophis <laughs> Juke. Henderson. <laughs> Cleophis definitely no, sound like one of the original no, Negro it's, names. It's soon, as soon as he said the name, I was like, <laughs> Cleophis. <laughs> what the hell is he She's talking like, this about? This nigga ain't real. Cleophis Juke Henderson. Oh, man. Oh, Yo. Yeah, man. But um, so, no, I had to get that off or whatnot real quick. But yeah, stop gentrifying our shit. That's kind of crazy, That's bro. That's nuts. That's Yo, crazy. how you take the fade? What's your favorite black history moment? The most oh, notable Lord. one? Yeah. Is black and white at the pier? You mean with the chairs? Oh my gosh, that that's got to be the greatest moment. That's the that that's the most be, notable yeah. one that that I can remember. Yeah, that's like because nothing else really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's the one. I like to imagine beating white people ass with a motherfucking chair. I like to imagine that the nigga that threw a, a shoe at George Bush was black, but I don't think Ooh. he was. Though. No, he no, wasn't. I think he, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Damn, I wanted to. That, yeah. that, that was a good one. He was like Arabian or something. He was. He was. That was a good one. He was Eastern European. I think I was more impressed at how swift that George meant, he dipped said. it. It meant something. Like <laughs> throwing a shoe at somebody over there means something. Right. Right. So. Oh. Yeah. So it was a. It was okay. I yeah, got you. It was Eastern European. Um, it was symbolism. <laughs> got you. But <laughs> Blake, it was, it was I got. I got one for you. When Blade killed Nomak at the end of Blade Two, mm. that was a hell of a Black History yeah. moment, because they tried to evolve. You know, white, vampires is white people shit. So now that they got a black vampire, what not everybody wanted to kill Blade. So then these motherfuckers created a new type of monster that split at the mouth and was super duper strong oh, yeah, and walked shit. in walked in the daylight. You know what I'm saying? To be sh- as strong as Blade. So that just made me think of the systematic tyranny that goes into. Taking us and trying to make a super version of us, ergo, what they doing with Kim Kardashians and all of them and whatnot. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make, they trying to evolve the black woman on their own, you know what I'm saying, yeah. basis. So when he finally challenged Blade, he was stronger, he was faster, and he was beating Blade's ass. And then Blade figured out his motherfucking weakness. He stabbed them in the heart and got up under the bone, and he got a, he got a bone over his heart. Now, I mean, shout out to Wesley Stice and Blade. Before you didn't pay your taxes, all that shit and whatnot. Another gratifying black history moment. Blade 2. Hold up. Check now, it out. Because now I want to look up some great. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, why you this look them up? moment in black history. history. Why you look them up and whatnot? Oh, shit. Uh, let's talk about movies, TVs, and music. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> did you see? Did anybody see anything? Uh, you still ain't see Equalizer three. I did. Oh, you, you mad? Did. You, you didn't watch. Week. Means you didn't watch the last yeah. episode. I did see it. That oh, shit, oh, you did? Yeah, yeah we talked about ass. it. Oh, all right. That buddy. shit was ass, dog. All right, yeah. So I just don't understand why we didn't really talk about it though. And I really wanted to say that I don't appreciate you recommending this shit. It, it wasn't was, ass. It was ass. Bro. What was ass about it? What, what did you expect? 
He's an old ass man. But God, you had this nigga. He was, beat, still, he was still whooping niggas' ass though. He beat the movie. everybody's ass. Exactly. Like nobody punched him at all. <laughs> Bro, if John Wick can fight up the stairs for twenty minutes. That's John and fall Rick, back though. down. Stop doing it. Wait Stop bit. doing that. Wait a minute. You moving? To, you colonizing action? You colonizing <laughs> action movies? For oh come on, man. First it was the Travis. First, first the frat boys Ke- break Keanu, up. Keanu is not all the way white. He's like a different type of white. He's he's like he's caping. <laughs> oh my god! In no. Black History Month. Stop it. But wait a minute, though. It's not the fact that Keanu did a better job with the action movie side of it or whatnot. It just was a. John Wick it's 4 was a better fucking movie. Nigga ain't reload that pistol the entire movie. Listen, Denzel got did not get punched one time. There because he a, ill with it. You know <laughs> he what? There Ill. wasn't much monologue in John Wick 4. Exactly. It didn't have to be. It was a bunch of ass whooping. But there's not a lot of monologue. And most of that shit was in fake. any of the John <laughs> Like, at least, yeah. at, at least in Equalizer 3, all of the shit, all of the action and fighting scenes looked like if you was that good with the hands, you could pull off some of that shit. Yeah, and John that. Wick, you could not pull off some of that shit in real life. You will be dead. <laughs> John Wick got You kicked, will be dead, bro. He kicked that 112 steps. And, and got, got back, back up. And, and, and still, and still kicked, killed. And then they kicked his ass back down again and he still <laughs> did it, bro. How? You ain't break shit on the way down. <laughs> At all. Nothing. But Denzel, the Falling only t- and shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga like, come on, man. Come time. on. So, and, the dude with the dog. and nobody, do, nobody tried to come at him all at once. Nobody, I everybody never thought, thought about that. Why don't you just nobody, twenty niggas run at you or whatnot at the same time? Nobody, everybody wanted to have a one on one with you. <laughs> but wait a minute, though, because Denzel, Cause somebody wanted to say I survived. But niggas was but waiting nigga, for this. You Denzel. not gonna survive? It's John Wick. We gotta they kill this nigga in together. First, in the first movie, <laughs> when the dude killed his dog, took the car, and took it to John Leguiz- uh, uh, Leguizamo, he's right, like, bro. "Who? Where you get that car from? Where John you get Wick. that from?" He's like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah, where you get that out. car from?" The he's like, that- "Get the fuck in the car." <laughs> Get out. He punched him in the mouth. And bro. You get that oh car the fuck God. out of my house. The, the dude filed the call. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> well, see. He said He that. took John's car. He's like, yo, <laughs> you was right. You was right. The Baba Yaga. <laughs> you was right. He's the like, Baba you know Yaga. So y'all don't. But, all right. So, it is what it is. So the part that they was going to. They was in the courtyard. And they was going to kill Denzel. And he was like, take me. Right. Why didn't they just take and kill him then? Because then that would have blew their whole oh, operation up. No, it wouldn't have blew the operation up. But it would have no. What happened? Was, everybody it started people, recording. It would, right, and it would also make the people rebel against them and say, "We saw these niggas do this shit," which mm-hmm. is still blowing the operation. Yeah, up. yeah, you're right. Yeah. I agree with yeah. that. Like that's yeah. that's just it. Just wasn't a good. But point, in, though, at nah. the end it of wasn't. it, if something happens to him, everybody because they were recording. Yeah, yeah. everybody is going to know right. who did it. I agree. With so that. you can't touch him ever. And, and then this nigga just snuck in the house after that. And killed everybody. It wasn't even a fair fight. He poisoned the dude, had him walk down the alleyway. Like, the, like yeah, it was just man. so... Like, the Black Splinter Cell. Fuck is you talking about? Black Splinter Cell. I wish it was a better movie, though. Shout out to Denzel, man. I listen, love Denzel. He got... Listen, I'm Denzel forever, man. Happy Black History Month. We not, yeah. I'm, I'm not taking no African-American <laughs> slander this entire <laughs> month. Speaking of, speaking of Happy Black History Month in TV... We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Plymouth, Plymouth Rock, Rock landed, landed on, on us. us. All right, this is Equalizer Denzel, not Malcolm X. <laughs> Denzel! <laughs> Yeah, right. Denzel, Denzel killed Denzel. Papa. Exactly. First of all, see, Denzel it's is all, always Denzel. It's all connected. That's not true because now you're putting him in a box again. It's it's Denzel, all no, they do two Denzel, different characters. Denzel. So, get your um, hands off of me. So I did get some. Your hands off get me. your fucking hands off Take me! Take your motherfucking hands off me! <laughs> 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 so, um, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Yes. You know that's not what he said. See, he say you got to say shit. Whatever. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Whatever. <laughs> That's pause. That's I crazy. I say how Kelly wants to say. That's wild. So, mm-hmm. speaking of good black history, though. Okay. Reasons Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble. I don't know if y'all into wrestling, but I want, the reason why I'm bringing I'll this up. I'll be watching soon. So, Roman, my, uh, Roman, my, Roman, Roman Reigns has been the champion for almost four years now. Yeah. Okay. He's looking to break Hulk Hogan and Bruno San Martino's record mm-hmm. of longest reigning champion yeah, get ever. Get to the good part of the story. So, Cody Rhodes. Now, Cody Rhodes has a passionate story. We know his, this is Dusty Rhodes' son. He wants to finish Dusty the story. Dusty Rhodes? Dusty yes. Rhodes. You don't know who Dusty Rhodes is? You remember Rhodes Dusty is? Rhodes? 
He might be. You don't know. I might be too young. Oh my god. For that. Polka dot shorts. Dissimilate. Used to do the elbow. Dissimilate. Fat. Dissimilate. Blind. Yeah, yeah. So he's a young Dissimilate. guy. Dissimilate. All right. Well, Dusty Rhodes is one of the one of the all time greats. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he okay. passed away a few years back. Okay. So like this is before <laughs> Hulk Hogan. This is before Hulk Hogan. Oh, this yeah, like him I'll... and Ric Flair had classic matches. Yeah. So look. Woo! <laughs> all right, Kelly. You all right. Got to do my Ric Flair. <laughs> got to do my Ric Flair. Somebody got a little Hogwarts scarf on. She, she, she in her bag. So look. Griffin door. Whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who's watched the movies. I, and I smite thee. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Fucking like Harry Potter shit. So, Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. Oh my gosh. When God even lives. Yo, I'm cutting all <laughs> Harry Potter parts the fuck out. Crucio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about this dumb shit. So look. So listen, <laughs> what you call it is there. So the winner of the Royal Rumble is supposed to face the champion at WrestleMania. Got you. Cody Rhodes won it last year. He fought Roman Reigns. He lost mm. at WrestleMania. Most of the time they don't lose. That's the script. So, so he won it again. Mm -hmm. It's always a script. He won it again. This time he posed, face, he posed to face Roman Reigns again. He walks into the ring on Monday night and tells Roman Reigns, hey, guess what? Um, I'm going to finish my story, but not right now. Because I got something else that I want you to do. If you smell what the rock dun, dun, wow. is cooking. <laughs> bend. So the rock comes down and the rock has signed to fight Roman Reigns his, at WrestleMania. His little cousin, Joe. His, his little cousin. His little here's, cousin, Joe. Here's the problem with all this. First and foremost, the rock is 55. The roids flow deep in that man, but that's a whole different The topic. roids so, flow so deep that's within That's my you. man. I love The Rock. Been a Rock fan forever. So he's really going to fight? He's going to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania at his old ass age, because Roman Reigns is only like Well, I mean, the, the, the nigga look like he work out every day. So he definitely, I mean, he he def no, no, it's not he that does. he can't do it. It's the fact that this is the biggest star in the world, and he's got about 12 movies lined up. He's in charge of the UFL. He's, he's fucking on the board with WWE and TKO. You know what I'm saying? He has 15,000 other jobs. And if you mean to tell me that you're going to have him come in there and fight Roman Reigns for the title and beat him at WrestleMania... Full in, circle. In Philadelphia, you're wrong. And Full it's not circle. Happen. Full gonna circle. Do Full circle. You crazy if that don't happen. You think he's going to win? That is the ultimate finish to the to Dwayne The Rock Johnson's wrestling he will not win. jacket. He won't win. That is the craziest. He, won't he will. Win. He will. You know, you know what's more important than Dwayne The Rock Johnson becoming champion at WrestleMania? What's more important? Him Roman and Kelly Roman Roman Shut up, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's hell? more important. Goodness grief. He like little skinny women. All that ass you got and whatnot. Little Rock wouldn't know what to do with that His shit. His first wife, uh, Jesus got Christ. Little, no, little she dumb. don't. She ain't got no, she ain't got the Kelly Q dumper. Like, Nobody like, has no, the Kelly Q dumper. <laughs> First of all. Hey, but yo. his his wife is Spanish, so his ex wife is Spanish. Okay. So what does that so, got to do with Danny? What you my like? Fourteen percent, like you know. <laughs> It's called that. If I was ever to have an affair with a married man and be a kept woman, mm -hmm. it'd be for him. Okay. <laughs> so now you're a home wrecker. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you're no. a home wrecker. A no. planned home wrecker. This we got is, right. This yeah, is premeditated. Like premeditated home wrecking home is crazy. We got this on tape. That's wild. We so listen. So no, there's no way. What's more important than The Rock becoming champion in April is going to be Roman Reigns beating The Rock and, and eclipsing the longest championship run. Oh, all right. So it's another, okay. So you have to understand because the creative side of this. But didn't The Rock sign something with the uh, WWE? To like yeah, he's actually on the board, but that's TKO. TKO is UFC and WWE is one company. Okay. And Vince McMahon is out here uh, jacking off on bitches. Oh, so, yeah. So, so he had to step whole, down. Yeah, like <laughs> this thing had to step down. And with that mustache, it don't look no better in his favor or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, like did you, did you? Dog, I can't even do it because I've seen somebody else read the text messages on a podcast. <laughs> the funniest shit. So I'm not going to do it because it's, it's, it's like, it's, to me, it's, yeah, it's, like, like, it's yeah, satire. Yeah. I can't do it. But it's the funniest shit ever. He's talking crazy. He's talking like, I met with these guys and they want to give, they want to gang bang you and one in your ass and oh one in your mouth. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? Until you fucking come Amen. and you know what I mean? You're such a dirty little slut. And, what the You know fuck? what I'm saying? This is Vince McMahon. Yo, old white this, niggas with money is the funniest, nasty. Old yo. broke white niggas. I had a nigga get in my Uber the other day and was like, bro, 
They're talking about some girl at his church. He was like, this, this girl, she was like, she just has a mouth on her, but this girl's just so gorgeous, man, and her, and her fucking body is incredible. So this old ass man, his voice sounded, he, he sounded like uh, Big Ange. He's, and her oh, voice God. is just incredible, man. <laughs> her body is awesome. I'm like, holy shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck David Stash, you at fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. What are you doing, bro? Not get out of my get out of my car. What the fuck is wrong with oh. you? Anyway, yeah. So Rest I just think that that's what it's going to be. I I think that Roman Reigns is going to be the biggest match ever, and it's going to look like The Rock is going to win. And and then for like for 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 dramatic purposes, for dramatic and then, purposes, Roman and then Reigns, Roman Reigns still comes wins. out because when Roman Reigns beats The Rock, yeah, I think Rock it's is going to be. You think the Usos yeah. are going to come out? Who? I think everybody's gonna be out there. Yeah, it's gonna be that's, a whole family situation. Mm-hmm. That that's gonna bring that's gonna be hot. people mm-hmm. from my generation, y'all generation, mm-hmm. everybody yeah. together to I see think that fight. Everybody, y'all generation. I know. I mean, yeah, me. y'all, y'all. Well, old. you know, hold on, what do you mean, y'all generation? Y'all you mean, your generation, my generation, her generation. Oh damn! Yeah, that's a. That, she's a fucking. Um, <laughs> she's a boomer. Like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, swing time and fucking. My <laughs> mother is a boomer. I am not Woodstock. A you remember I am Woodstock? Gen X. Was, were you I there was from not Woodstock? here. She was oh, born. So she was right not even then. born yet. She was born right after that? Woodstock. Bro. I wasn't. If she wasn't oh at God. Woodstock, then she's not that old. That's not true at all. <laughs> Kelly remembers the entire. My mom 80s. was there for Woodstock. Kelly, my is, mom is sixty-two. Bro. Kelly remembers 72. the entire eighties. She remembers the entire. Okay, 80s. I was there. She, I was there. I got here. The microwave just a came out in '79, nigga. She I was got born here before the microwave before was created, bro. I got here a little bit before the '80s. Right before microwaves, before color microwave. television, <laughs> <laughs> cable. I was here after color television, <laughs> nigga. To tell somebody you was there after color Yo, television, after hey. color nuts. TV is nuts. Hey, my mother remembers when. No, you just, just remember when Martin Luther King got shot. Yeah. All right. So let's go into something real quick. Mm-hmm. We are, this is a new segment, and I'm going to call it oh, shit. Scott's Vibes, where Scott gives you a couple topics, and then we talk about it. Okay. Scott, name your first topic, <laughs> and go. In go? I thought you were about to count down. No, no, no. We don't got that. <laughs> no, no. All right. So. The first one is what's something you were ex- you were excited about when you first heard about it, but disappointed when you found out the truth. Sex. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that, I mean, that's a pretty obvious one. Reverse cowgirl. <laughs> Shower sex. Oh. oh my gosh! Oh. Yes. Shower sex. Yes. It yeah. is the. It is a very overrated. Oh, oh my yeah. god! How does everything get so dry in the shower? Like it's. We and then you can't even get no good positions, mm-hmm. and, and and God forbid you got a, a window. I think blowjobs are like that too. It's just awkward. Yes, blowjobs like yes. that too. Every, just because yeah. yeah. you put it in your mouth, don't mean you know what you do. Sixty nine, and, and that 69. is no, that is amazing. Oh my, no, that is amazing. Sixty nine is fucking overrated. No, it's what? It's so overrated, bro. You, you just got to be flexible. If you're not flexible, no, just say it's that. not even about that. It's just overrated. All right, in in in, in what sense? In what sense? First and foremost, you can't give your all or get your all because what happens is that you pin it down and you go start going crazy and you start doing a motorboat in there and you're doing, <laughs> you're going, you're going fucking nuts and you hear, you know what I'm saying, and all that extra shit, right? So, and she, bubbles and shit start she, coming out. Women love to fucking tap out from the 69. They start like they lean the one leg on you or whatnot. Yep, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? They take the hand off and they be like, uh uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, bitch. No. This is supposed to be a, <laughs> this is a double pleasure situation. Keep the dick going. Yeah, right. Why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? Who told you to stop and whatnot? And they start apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm coming down. Like, wait a minute. This is not fair. Now like, my now my dick just in your mouth like a thermometer and, oh and shit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> or just, just sitting there. or just in your hand and whatnot. <laughs> right, it's, it's cold. Just, it's cold in here. My shit getting small because the cold <laughs> air hitting it. Bitch, keep going. <laughs> what are you doing? Put it back in the oven. Like please, it didn't or or it feels too good and she stopped or whatnot. Right, with it's it, like, with it in her mouth or whatnot and it grazed the side of the teeth. You like, come on, bro. You have to. I chill. don't need you moaning on my dick. No, oh my God. suck it. <laughs> like, suck oh it. Oh my lord. Just please, man. What else? What else? Uh, uh, what? what, what the, it's crazy. I just want to say how we all went straight to sex. Yeah, because that just shows us. 
<laughs> exactly. No, where. like honestly, man, what the we hell? Y'all just went straight. Whatever to set. we thought it was going to be, um, just wasn't it. Just wasn't it. Um, I would like to say makeup and what it does for women. Oh lord! Oh my! I was God. excited because, like, like my first introduction to seeing you know makeup mm-hmm. used on women, it was like, okay, you know, you put it on, you know, here it's used sparingly. Yeah. But now today, I've seen ogres look beautiful. Oh yeah, they don't. They're going scary. crazy. With it. I've seen you. It's, some of y'all is monsters. They're going crazy it's with it now. It's I've seen ridiculous. Them do like you know the whole bitch like know, a sea donkey before mm-hmm. and after, and I'm like, oh my god. Yep. But it goes back to that person we talked about a couple of years ago. Who? Where it was the the Asian man sued. Oh wife yeah. Yep. Because she got all that plastic surgery done. The children <laughs> came out. <laughs> Unattractive. Yeah, because yeah. the kids look and like he's old. trying to figure out the BBL in genetics. Who do these kids look like? Because they don't look like me, Ooh, and they don't look like you. That's why all the Kardashians have kids with black guys. Why? So that they can because, continue the, the because the, that old Neanderthal look that happens with them and whatnot with that Armenian community. Yep, and with the way that they look. When it's they, not the, when they get older, yeah. Yo, that's what it is. It's not the same. Like, look at Chloe. Chloe used to look like Louis Anderson. You know what I'm saying? And now she's like had like it's facial only, reconstruction all, and shit. She looks like a totally one. different person. Fam, like yo, it's if you watch that, it's only one that doesn't first... have children by a black person. Who? Courtney. Courtney. Oh right, Courtney. She stayed with her white king. Okay. Yeah, her white kids. Well, yeah, two. she do. She got two yeah, of them. She, yeah, she stayed with her white yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, she got two what, of them. Travis Barker's. Yeah. All right, keep going. Okay, I have another one. Um, so how far are you willing to go to pleasure yourself if you're in jail? <laughs> you how far? <laughs> like how far? Okay, so because I I got this because I originally seen a video of a guy right. who was in prison. Yeah, and he had two balloons. And he put like something in between the balloons, and he puts his dick in between the balloons, mm-hmm. and he uses Vaseline so that it doesn't chafe his dick. I do a good old Fifi. <laughs> I'll do a great. I'll, listen, I'll do a Fifi. I seen the one nigga that actually built bitches. Like he, he took he took pillows and made like he put clothes on them. Yup, he <laughs> built he built chicks. Like he built them and gave them Fifi openings and shit. So what he did was he like he would like take a pair of jeans. And he would like, like, oh, he would cut half the joint in half, the uh, the jail uniform in half, make them like jeans, and then make a little crop top, and then make like a little pseudo bra, and then he get no. took a pillow, made hair with it. These <laughs> niggas was creative as shit, bro. And he made like three four of these bitches, and niggas started requesting them making them bitches. He like, yo, can I? You know what I'm saying? Then the, you know the wardens got mad at him because he was fucking their pillows up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he was making women. He was making them. <laughs> Oh my god. Dog, yes. I would listen. If I had the talent, if I'm doing a stretch. It said Dr. Miami I'm, ain't got shit on dog, me. I'm making I'm making me one, man. I'm, I'm making a hoe. Like, yeah, I'm let making, me go ahead and get let me get one of them Jones popping. Well, give me some pillowcases. And if you know what a Fifi is, right? I'm making bitches from so you, scratch. Right, so you take a towel. The young boys, when I, I used to work at a juvenile detention center. So they take a towel and they tight, make the towel real tight. And they put a fucking latex glove inside of the tight part of the towel and then extend it over the top of it and take lotion, warm lotion up and pour it into it and whatnot. And they, they fuck the Fifi. Ta-da! Prison niggas is, is, is... Yo, just sign me up for chronic masturbation. I'm sorry. I just no. can't do that. Here's I'm the not, problem. I'm not fucking inanimate objects. Here's the problem, though, bro. Here's I the problem. Listen, listen. Here's the problem. I can't. I think only certain... Uh, prisons get the tablet for the porno. No, bro, I just use my imagination or something. Dog, if you've been in I that can't. motherfucker for 10 years and you ain't really seen no vagina. Matter of fact, you can, you can get phones and shit in, 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 in prison. Yeah, I have seen. But they got tablets now. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if you can get porn on your tab. Tablet. Oh, niggas is on Instagram and Facebook. I know that's true. Get, yeah. So I, I, I know you can get the porn. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, then that's cool. But imagine you back when you Oh, yeah. Back then? Back then? Ooh, old fashioned prison? The old fat, first and foremost, imaginary jacking oh, off is not it. It's really not. It's hard. It's pause. Pause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, just imagine, like I got to close it's my difficult. eyes. It's and difficult. Vision. 
Just say you know how much careful. sex I've had in my life? I actually got to fucking go through a mental Rolodex of fuckery. You got to go through I got to go back like to my, the realm. Yeah, you got to go, gotta go to back to the yeah, Valhalla. To let, me, <laughs> let me travel back to 2000. <laughs> When shit was lit. You in a time <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you got to imagine gotta go the how it decks. happened. Yeah. The fucker decks is crazy. The fucker decks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Because uh, you can't, there's no way to get horny around a bunch of niggas. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I can't. Which brings me to my next point. Mm. Why do we, if that's, if that's the thinking that we going with, why do we all go to the strip club together as men and get our dicks hard around each other and look at women shake their ass? Well, because it's women in there shaking their ass. I still don't feel comfortable doing that. That's why everybody you rather get, go by yourself. Like my shit on rock. Everybody should get their own stripper. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, I'm not sitting next to you. Nobody share. You should my, share strippers. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm Smack just, ass, cuz nah, bro. Yeah, gotta, nah, nah, man. You gonna have to get your own. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Get your own. What uh, else you got? Um, let's Ooh. see. When do you wear underwear? I wear underwear daily. <laughs> every day Every day You wear drawers every day Kelly at, at some point in the day There's some drawers on <laughs> da- Daily Not for me yeah. Captain Yeah it's got Now wear... going to bed There's nah. different I don't wear underwear to bed Sometimes I go through the day Commando Free balling Commando yeah, Free First and foremost balling. What I don't I go want to, to be happening I right to, now I go to ShopRite Right Walmart mm-hmm. Target I sometimes even I go out without drawers. I'm, I ain't, I ain't I even going to talk to, to you. I just don't want to. I, I need to talk to your girlfriend. I don't want to have this conversation with you right now. Allow, knowing how knowing that she might be free balling. That? I, I, no, 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 no. Can no, you no. reassure us what? that you're not free balling right now? I have on. Yo, no, 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 no. Hanes. Do you have on Hanes? Just say we good. You got drawers on. Good. Thank God. We good. We good. We good. I just want to know we not having this conversation. How your girlfriend letting you go without like that? Well, sometimes she don't know. Sometimes she don't know. You don't get chafed. No, it's actually pretty uh, free. He be letting them hang. Your dick don't rub against the inside of the zipper. That's why I can't. Oh no, I know wearing jeans with no underwear. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I'm talking about shit. I would. Yeah, that's crazy. I, um, yo, a girl gave me some pussy like that before too. It was crazy. She came through with, with jeans on with no drawers. How oh, the fuck you do that? I don't bitch. know. It's kind of wild. Oh, we got a rare denim box. Your box of trash. And it smelled. I bet. I but bet. That's a whole other topic. I bet. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, so like, the, like I'm a I'm a comfortable dresser. I'm a sweatpants, track pants, right, or like some some type of shorts, and then I just you know what I'm saying, yeah, free falling with free balling. So you just out there swinging, yeah, swinging. You jumping around with pajama pants on and shit Eyes like that in the supermarket, just swinging. That's crazy. Yep. I need to talk to your girlfriend. <laughs> I need no, she, I need, she be, I need she, yo, she, got, she got, like, she'll really just pull my shit and be like, let me check if you got drawers on. It's like, why you don't got drawers on? Now, now, Where now, are we going? Do you make it a conscious effort just to not wear drawers or do you wait till they all dirty? Like, oh, man, they all dirty. Might as well just go it's raw. A, it's a combination. It's <laughs> That's like, what I figured. It's, I knew it. It's a combination. I, I knew it was nigga laziness involved in that. Yeah, I knew it was nigga laziness That's, involved with that. It because it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, all right, I've been, I've been roaming around the crib all day, no drawers. Then he's like, oh, we got to go somewhere. All right, cool. Oh shit! I ain't got drawers on. Oh, we already out the crib. Door locked. We in the car. <laughs> I'm not going back in the house. Yo, I think you have a problem. So whoever <laughs> right? whoever sees gat print is that, that's just what it's, y'all see. I think see. it's starting to become a problem because I think you I think you kind of premeditating <laughs> the no draw wearing, and that's kind of the thing. You I think the you fact think it's a conversation. Look, look, exactly. It's a I no think, draws type I think of day. This nigga does his laundry and then. Like probably, you know, every man should have at least like twenty pairs of drawers. So if you fucking get yeah. down, I think you get down to like day eighteen, you be like, oh, I can't wait till I run out. I ain't got no laundry bag trip. It ain't it even gotta be vision. it's pair nineteen, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well no no no. Not pair nineteen. I'm only two pairs in. You ever double up on drawers? What meaning like flip them on inside yeah, out? Yeah, something like that. No, I'm not ever doing that. That's crazy. Cause then, cause then whatever you wearing smell it. like dick and balls and ass. No, sometimes you have clean days. Oh well, yeah. Like yeah. if you don't do nothing. Yeah, you don't do oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a disgusting. If you fall out, I just put them back can on. We, can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> can we move on? <laughs> All right, that. <laughs> Please. Back in the day, you used not be able to do nope, shit because nope. you had powder. I used to yeah. put powder on my balls back in the day. Before I, forgot, before I found out it caused cancer, I was like, yo, yeah. <laughs> you just take the joint and. Yeah, yep. No. <laughs> Baby powder. Yeah, yo. Baby powder was <laughs> right, shit. Right. Yo, yo, niggas used to be, yup, you pour the whole, what you call it? No, I used to fucking, what? 
I was no, I was one of them. I would fucking put powder in my hand like LeBron, <laughs> throw it up in the air, and then put it all down there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't feel like sweating. That was the name of the game. Wait, so you used to throw it up and put your balls in the air? Yeah, you got damn right. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I used to uh like sometimes you can lay back and whatnot and powder yourself like a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like lay lay back and whatnot. Like and put, put one your leg legs up. up? Let me put just put one leg up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Next, next, next. Hey, I yo. Because I think I some of the powder though. should get in your butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> it has to. No. For that. Yeah. For because that, then you get the For the butt balls. sweat. For the butt sweat. Yo, you got to start for shaving the, your ass. It's for the butt you sweat. The you got to start shaving your ass, Kelly. Oh, Not sorry. me. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that. Gotta get that Brazilian wax. Yeah, she I said. She said you start getting them, thick, them powder. Where right. the powder balls you, come right. from? You put powder That's, down there. That gets stuck in hair. Booty. Yeah, I'm about to say. Well, stuck in fucking hair. Not even stuck in hair. But if you start sweating, right? Sweat and powder. Oh, right. And, and it turns it into. Oh, you talking about fomunga cheese? <laughs> fomunga cheese. cheese. That's what you talk about. You talking yeah. about? Yeah. That's what next. That next. That blue Scott, cheese. Got that blue cheese in your butt. Next. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Scott, next. This sorry. Is, man, make this the last one, please, so we can get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. What is the most... Now, this is more like a music one. What is the most overused bar that has to go? Like an overused, like the most overused rap bar. I can give you generational shits. Absolutely. So back in the day, it was sucker MCs. So no, my pro, <laughs> sucker oh, MCs. Shit. Don't know my profile. <laughs> sucker MCs. Don't know. Oh my god! Like call another nigga a sucker <laughs> MC, nigga. Sucker MCs. I like. Uh, um, oh shit! For real, where did that run at? Yeah, it was uh, Mickey. <laughs> okay. Universal Studio has made its way back over to Philly. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh shit! I'm glad I ain't see it. <laughs> I'm a bitch. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a. Uh, see a grown man like oh shit on the podcast, bitch. Like ah, you motherfuckers. We gotta re-record the whole shit. No, no, fuck that, knocking everything over. And shit. Yo, what happened at hour 15, Mark? Nigga, we lost it. Everything went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers, we talking about dog? Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, what was the question again? The oh, yeah, yeah. The bar. most overused bar. Oh, um, okay. That and then, so it was Suck MC. Mm-hmm. Then it was... Um, it, ain't, um, it ain't tricking if you got it. We got to get rid of that. Oh, one. ain't tricking if you got it. We then it was get rid um, of that one. Pump the Hummer for the Summer. What? Back in the, back, remember the Hummer for the Summer was the, nigga. <laughs> this is when you was a young that boy. Was like, Everybody that moved was like the Hummer for the Summer. Yes. Who... Yo, I'm yo. I'm everybody, so glad I wasn't everybody in was. Oh, like and then that. uh, what's the dealio? What's the um, dealio? Yeah. Uh. Uh. Um. What else? Uh. Recently, what, what's the what's the? I'm. It, it's a it's a it's quite a few of the them. The chains whatnot. and whip slave bars. Oh my god! I'm sick of the that. Cha- the whips and uh, like a slave. Fucking. Oh, here we go. Dr- Official like a ref with a whistle. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Official god. like a ref with a whistle. Everybody's oh my, my god. nigga. Um, or 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 balling like um, Dem Jones is so ass. Oh yeah, balling, balling like, like a Kobe, Kobe, balling LeBron, like a, LeBron, like a Mike, Jordan. like a Mike. Any, any basketball <laughs> niggas to, reference? No, niggas try to switch it to football. Balling like I'm Tom Brady. Bro, balling oh like I'm god. Peyton. Or or catch a bullet like a yeah, wide receiver. Like I, oh my oh god, my yo! God. Catch a bullet um, like Randy Moss. Catch a bullet like Jerry Rice. Catch a bullet like Jesus Christ. What else? Um, the, the thirty on them like Stephen Curry. Oh my god! And the Clay Thompsons and yeah, man, we any yeah. sports reference? Yeah, yeah just, it, put it, twenty three in your chest like Mike. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, you know that, what I'm saying? Pick niggas up like a septa bus. That was the shit. Yo, the day. oh my oh god! Niggas up oh like a my septa gosh, bus. bro. Yeah, so yeah, just a whole bunch of you know time fool fuckery that just continuously will be. I don't even know what it is now. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I haven't. I don't listen to anything well, that shit, I don't want to listen to because so it's not audible. Really it should have just like blah, 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 blah. yeah, like fucking Tasmanian devil ain't rat. No, ain't none of that shit saying? getting yeah. bang in my car. Ain't none of that shit getting banged. <laughs> pause. Oh yeah, that yeah my yeah that was that was a pause. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm done. Scott's done. vibes. Or Scott's vibes, ladies and gentlemen. Scott's me? vibes. All right, I'll be back next week. So, oh my god. So 
I don't know what made me go down the rabbit hole to find like the worst rap lyrics. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. but somebody said you can go. We can go on forever with though because this it was some garbage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is some said, garbage out there. Built a house. On that ass on that ass ass estate. Oh that's yeah, two chains. Oh my no, god, that was no, that's big Sean. Build that. Oh, that's one of my favorite rappers. Now that was that night. That was hard. Fuck that. Build the house on that on, ass state. That's an ass state. Roll my weed on it. That's an ass track. Like what? Duh. That's hard. No, no, no. Three, that's hard. What three hundred like the Romans? Oh, right. That that was ass. That's that's ass. I shit on a nigga. That's why I wear a diaper. Yeah, that's another one. The shit references. Oh, yeah. The shit references. You know what I'm saying? I'm the shit. Now you got loose bowels. I'm the <laughs> shit like, <laughs> no. like I thought it was a fart. I'm the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, the I'm the shit. Spice. Where's the toilet paper? You know what I'm saying? I rap in a bathroom because I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shitting on you niggas. Because, no charming. You know, like, exactly. Yeah, all of this. Oh, you know what I'm God. saying? Yeah, just all of just these. a whole bunch of I'm yeah. the shit verses. All right. So... Let's do a topic real quick so we can get the hell out of here and whatnot. So, without saying like any family members or whatnot, okay? Because everybody has family members Mm -hmm. that are like this, Mm -hmm. or family, you know what I mean, or even friends or whatnot. Right. Do you actually have a family member or a friend or somebody that's in your life that's extremely, in one way, shape, or another, greedy? I'm talking like the shit to the point where it's like, don't leave your food around them. Don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't drop a dollar near them. Don't fucking, don't bring, don't bring a a, 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 a love interest around because they might go after them like a greedy motherfucker. And then it's like, it's not even to the point where it's like something wrong with them. It's just that it's in their, so, in their anatomy to be this greedy motherfucker. <clears throat> When y'all can start it off? I'm trying to think. Me too. You don't have nobody in I don't your have life. A, I don't think I have a family Oh, wait, you member. said, you said, I'm talking you about said friends too. <laughs> I'm talking about friends, family members, anybody. You don't have nobody that you could say, yo, that's a greedy motherfucker right there. Former co workers. How? Well, we all know I'm in the hospitality field. Mm-hmm. So we would have. Talk to the mic. I, I'm talking. Pull the mic closer. It's been closer. <laughs> anyway. Being closer. It's a combination of... Combination. Combination of closeness and talking loud. Come on. I can't. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so we would have, you know, luncheons honoring this, that, and third. You know, it's the beginning of the new quarter or some mess or, you know. Uh-huh. In my Navy Art one, we used to do things at the beginning of the football season. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just we would have a whole bunch of food. Right. I might have a plate, maybe a little nosh extra. Mm-hmm. But then you see the people that's like, make sure other people eat. Right. right. Oh, yeah. yeah I hate yeah. the people that go it, to the plate and fill up that plate mm-hmm. with everything excessively I'm that family on, the, on the first round. I'm that family member. Where everybody <laughs> that's has probably why I can't think that. of nobody because I am that family member. How do y'all define greed? Well, mm. if you're talking about universally, yeah, then universally, it, uh, just being a glutton for whatever it is that you're greedy for. I mean, that that's that's basically mm-hmm. how 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 I define greed. And then, right. not only that, when it becomes a thing to where it affects the other people around you um, badly, like negatively. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like what what does is there a good greed? Though? <laughs> hmm. There's innocent greed. Uh, I'll mm-hmm. say that. What's innocent greed? Making food. that making that fucking plate. Food, yeah. Ain't nothing you know. innocent about putting 12 chicken wings on a fucking platter. Why ain't it? You greedy ass. Sit your greedy ass the fuck down and come back and go get That's some food later. Anybody. That's, That's why I said I'm that family member. Don't invite me nowhere if it ain't enough food for three people. And I ain't even talking about three people. I know about exactly. Me. It ain't you and your girl. I'm you know what I'm saying? Me, it's, myself, it's, and I. <laughs> we all got to eat. <laughs> we all got to eat. Oh, my goodness. They can feed different personalities at the <laughs> family dinner. So, uh, so... But besides that, like, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't. But yeah. what about financial greed? 
Mm. Like people a, in your life that have like a nigga that steal from you or a nigga that just. I mean, I, you know what? The funny thing about it is that when you start to think about greed, I don't know if there's anything that somebody that's greedy would not do. True. So, where does that come into play when you start talking about somebody? You know, what I mean, a greed situation, especially financially. Honestly, because look at you have watched the show. Like on C, what is it? Uh, 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 MSNBC or whatnot? That show Greed. It always talks about like the Bertie Madoffs and the and and the niggas that was at the top. You know what I'm saying? But the Ponzi schemes and all that other shit or whatnot. That's a different type of greed. Mm -hmm. Now, is that greed based upon what people have made and they don't want to drop below that status quo because they caught a lick? Like they found out a, 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 a loophole to the process of making a lot of money. Well, no, because because like because see like that that's back into my 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 point right. is is that I believe the greed becomes bad once it starts affecting everybody else like like once it starts negatively infecting uh, affecting everybody on a bigger scale so it's just like just like with the whole circling back to um, Universal versus TikTok. Okay. It's like, okay. It's like, right. Okay. Universal wants to be greedy mm -hmm. and 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 say. We're not, whatever the terms are, we're not coming to these terms because y'all are paying these niggas too much. Right. We not even paying these niggas that much. Right, right, Because right. we don't want our bottom line to be affected. Yeah. Regardless if y'all niggas is up M's and B's and, and, and trillions and quadrillions and all of that shit. Like, y'all could be up so far, so many generations ahead, but y'all still don't care that like like the fact that y'all have so much money and y'all could sacrifice some of that just to pay some of these artists what they're actually worth and what they're actually mm. uh, worth in terms of what value that they bring to the platform. Is it greedy to not want to affect your bottom line if you have built it up to be that bottom line? I also understand that too. Right. But it like there 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 comes a point where now there, there's business. This is a right, right. and then there's. This like this is where then I, they're stealing. I like to okay ooh, okay all right, right all right that all right too. I like that that too right now um now I'll 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 say this mm -hmm. yeah it's freezing in here I understand when when you build something from the ground up mm -hmm. yes you put blood sweat and tears so many hours into it right. yes then you then it like then it becomes to the point where it's too big for you to handle alone so you hire people right. so now people work for you mm -hmm. so now you have people working for a business that they really don't have any uh, a vested interest in besides the fact that it has some kind of compensation for them doing their services or their work but you pay them well, I would pay the, like those people accordingly. Now, right, right. What I, now, would I pay them to the point where it starts to affect my bottom line to the point where I got to start coming back to work and putting in work myself? No, I'm not doing that. Right. But right. I'm also not about to not pay somebody enough to the point where they feel like they come into a job and what they do is not worth the money or lack thereof that mm -hmm. they're paid. Yeah, mm. yeah. So that's mm. that that's my only that like 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 that's the only difference and that and, and like like that's why I feel so passionate about stuff like this because it's just like if you're up that much money, if you're a universal, you have so much money coming in from so many other places. Mm -hmm. Why, why are you worried are you, about this? Yeah, why are you penny pinching off of Because music? I think I think it has to do with with whatever lifestyle that they've allotted themselves by being that way. That they've grown so, accustomed right. to. So if everything inflates around you and your bottom line is a specific amount and you say to yourself, in order to sustain this extravagant lifestyle and be able to pay everybody and be able to, you know, jack off on boats in, in the middle of the Mediterranean and do crazy shit and have the most lavish of things going for you, all in all, on a regular basis, and keep up this powerhouse situation, it has to be this amount. Nobody is tussling for them to stay status quo. They're saying, okay, if we made seven billion last year, we need to make eight next year because they feel like it's inflating. Oh, true. They're, right. So, so there's a, but so, there's a, so, so there's they're a, trying to come back. Right. And, okay. They're trying to come back. But here's the thing okay. there is a such thing, though, as enough needing to be enough i'm about to say because, you know what i'm saying because that's a lot of times what happens is that it becomes a situation where it's too much going on right you know what i mean like wait a minute 
You made eight billion last year. Why couldn't you just make eight point five billion this year instead of saying I need to make nine and a half right. billion? Or if you shooting for the moon and you that, miss and you land amongst the stars, you're exactly, still cool. Exactly. But they're not. That's I don't think that that's the way that they look at it or operate it through that because they they what they do is they tell themselves we always bring it they on. They have new a artists. level of success that they're trying to hit. Exactly. We always bring it on new artists. We got. If movies. you're not hitting that, then they will get rid of you. And Universal was is probably one of the biggest entertainment enterprises on on the face of the earth they do movies they do music they do television they do you know what i'm saying uh uh internet that shit. They multi-faceted do multi-faceted with the multimedia so they're mm-hmm. looking at it like we want to have a fuck you budget for everything that we need we got to pay sponsors we got to pay fucking uh uh commercials we gotta host a super bowl we gotta do this we gotta do that and these divisions need to make a specific amount of money and when they do not the last thing they want is some sort of branch off. So I work for a specific company. I won't name the company because they could all hit the Frank stand right. from the bottom to the top. I hate this fucking company. Fortune 200 company. But the division that I work for was the only one that was able to sustain during COVID. Everybody else had to close down because it was directly affected by the masses being together for the rest of this business. Right. Ours wasn't. We service smaller subsidiaries. I did uniforms. So it that actually worked out a little bit different. We worked the entirety, the entirety of the pandemic. Long story less long, mm. after about a year being back with a pandemic, an idea popped into every, to the, the powers that be of this, of this division, the president of this division of this Fortune 200 company, mm. that we can divide off and do our own shit. Because we... Where all of y'all were negative, y'all, the rest of y'all was in the in the red. We really were the right, right. We were in the op- not only the operational black. We were fucking making money. Making money. Mm-hmm. You know the reason why we were making money because there was no other money to be made in the market. Like we cornered the marketplace in that because we didn't stop when others did. Right. So what happened is that it made them profitable. They were like, yo, look at our four building as opposed to your four hundred million in the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay y'all shit off to get y'all in the black. And then we're going to branch off. Hmm. So that's what they did. They branched off. I don't think it was the smartest thing in the world. But I think that that's the type of thought process that goes when we start talking about something about like Universal. They don't, they just don't, like that music division, if that shit crumbles, they're not just, it's not just going to go away. All those little subsidiary companies are going to find other ways to keep their music out there. The MCAs, the fucking... The, the Atlantics, the, you know what I mean? The Def Jams. They, yeah, they're going to, and here's the scariest part about it. One, the way that they're going to find is going to be an independent route that has nothing to do with the, with, 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 with Universal. With Universal. Yeah. They're going to go right to the fucking internet. And, and music do that's just going to pop up. Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, I don't think, and it's, it's tough to say that that's greedy on their part. Right, because who, but if you were in their shoes, but how it is, would you? But right. it is though, because it's in my, it's in the, the eye of the beholder. I think the the artist, yeah, would find it greedy. Absolutely, because yeah. they don't want to get fucked in the situation. That the yeah. company wouldn't find it greedy. Mm. I mean, I think back to just watching part of the new edition story, right? When uh, Michael Bivens was speaking with uh, uh, Gerald, good old Mike Biv, hey. Michael Bivens. They're going to more kids Bivens. than Michael Jackson. I'm sorry. Damn. I'm going to cut that out. Allegedly. Again, allegedly. No more, no no more African-American know, slander. Black History Month. I apologize, bro. BHM, man. Yeah. BHM. But he was, he was oh, talking to uh, Gerald Busby, <laughs> and he was like, well, why would you know the guy that was their manager do that? And he was like, it was obvious that you didn't read your contract. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you were never signed to MCA. Mm-hmm. You were signed to him. Right, And right. we had a deal to publish his works. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, and I think so that the victim you, in that situation looks at it and says, yeah. I'm greedy, I was taken advantage of, da-da-da-da. But it's not right, greed on his behalf. Also, he's following the, lad, the, the letter of the law. That's what he's exactly what's supposed to be. You also have to protect yourself. And I, exactly. I hope, yeah, and yeah, I'm and hoping that people was... are learning from, from this stuff. You yeah. have to read... You have to get a lawyer that's mm-hmm. actually going to look out for you and explain, don't sign this contract because mm-hmm. you're going to be signed to Johnny Walker over there. Yeah. You are not going to be signed to MCA. You're not going to be signed to Virgin Atlantic. You're not going to be signed to Columbia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. that's the same thing with TLC. You're signed to Pebbles. 
Pebbles is under LA and Babyface label. They're right. under LaFace. Mm-hmm. But as she's under them, they're under um what was it? It wasn't MCA. It was what's his name? Who? The LaFace? guy that's signed. Who you no, about? the the guy that signed Whitney Houston. I can't think of his name. Tommy Matola. Clive. Clive, Clive, Davis. Clive right. Davis. Clive right. Davis. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capital. Yeah. Capital Capital. Okay. 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 Right. So right. Mm-hmm. you're under Pebble Tones, Peb mm-hmm. Tone or whatever. Mm-hmm. Pebbles is under LaFace. Yeah. LaFace is under Capital. Right. Who gets paid first? A lot of breaking down there that is. bag. Break- Capital gets paid first. A lot first. of breaking down on that bag. But then still- LaFace gets paid. Not even because the pebbles there's... gets paid. The right. whatever left over. Yeah, yeah. that's why get. y'all was driving what y'all was driving. But see what you talk. What you talking about is not... a simple, simplistic side of it though. When now, this this situation is unprecedented. Yeah, this you're talking about a uh, uh, a worldwide conglomerate of something that is still relatively new. Social media is less it than is. twenty years old. And it bro, is even... still our product. But wait we a minute, still want to be paid for cool. our product. Exa- but and that's what I mean by that's why I'm not it, saying it's it, right or wrong, but as but it benefits as the capital artists. record yeah. as whatever company it is. But <laughs> but see and, and see like 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 my whole thing is I just feel like if you if you if you if you feed the artists enough, it'll give them enough incentive to keep doing what they're doing. That's going to keep money in your pockets anyway. So but you got to start. You got to you got to talk to Universal about that because that's never that's never no, 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 been I Universal's mean, thought process. Overhead. No, no, I, yeah. no I'm, I'm just saying like overhead. like just thinking like okay, y'all y'all want to maintain and increase and keep making money, more money and more money every year. But yeah. it's like if you it, like if you just keep you know putting the money back into the re up. Oh, the, I'm saying like the money still. Well, as, if it's good enough, a, it comes back. As far back. as the company goes, they're thinking about overhead and operating. Yeah, costs. numbers, numbers is yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. They're thinking about overhead yeah. and operating costs. So, yeah. if my artist music is making money over here, mm-hmm. that's cutting out money that's being made somewhere else. And you got to think of the flopping at, at artists home, that look, they waste home. money on. Yeah. But, but here, now here's the problem. Yeah. So what you just said that, I'm glad yeah. that you said that portion of it. So I'm pretty sure it's a lot of money But the TikTok Avenue, the TikTok Avenue was for the, either the flopping or the rising type artists. That's the reason why I said the situation is unprecedented because there has always been a method to their madness. Mm-hmm. You would take, before social media, before the internet became a thing, you would take an artist I believe in this artist. You invest in this artist. You turn this artist into, you try to turn them, you, you put them out there, you promote them, you, you turn them into a star, you put makeup on them, you fucking put a new wig on them, you put them out there on stage, have them open up for bigger stars. Just a bit. Until, right. Until, you know what I mean? And make music, even if the music was garbage, you, you, you found a way to get it on the radio, Paola, which they'll never say. Absolutely. But that's exactly what the fuck it is. You know yep. what I'm saying? You get it on the radio. You get it out there. You that's flood why the Big mar- Red killed the dude in the five. Right. You, you flood the market for what it is. <laughs> you flood the market for what it is, right? This situation with TikTok, this is not radio. This isn't even like regular internet with websites or even regular social media. Mm-hmm. This shit is based upon me putting a sample of artist music that we own out there on a platform that people, regular people, can take to make to make their own commercials for them. Like mm-hmm. little goofy videos and dances and all this other shit. This is unprecedented. Nobody knows the way to approach it. The way that the other two-thirds of the music industry understood it is that we definitely want to pay the artists for what the fuck's going on. Universal was like, nah, fuck that. Universal gets paid first, and then we pay that. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I feel as if that... Now, that's the greedy side of it. Because they may have a method into which they want to run it, Mm -hmm. but then, all right, so let's start talking about what it is to be morally sound. If you're going to be, if you have some sort of morals in your own mind and say, okay, these artists are signed to me, right? We get a residual of whatever goes on. Most of them are signed to shit like 360s, da 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 da. If I'm in, if you, your music is on TikTok, right? automatically bounce back, bounces back to Universal. So let's start talking about the way that we divvy up the percentage of whatever's paid from the plays and stuff on Universal. There's Mickey. Just seen him. You know what I'm saying? Keep, uh, the Mickey, fact Mickey's that you said it out here. loud. <laughs> but, um, the fact that you said it out loud. <laughs> but, um, but ho, ho. so <laughs> this, that's goofy. Oh, Minnie. <laughs> that was goofy. No, that was, ho, ho. That's, mm, that's oh, that Mickey. is Mickey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse us. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. So my thing is that always going to be is that's the conundrum that you run into. Like, would it be fair? Mm-hmm. Business 
It's never fair. It's not fair. Yeah. But at the end mm-hmm. of the day, there is fair business. So, listen. Is it sustainable, you, though? It's sustainable for the motherfucking company that have been around for 100 years? Then that, they I, already on, got but, but to them, though, so it's is, sustainable on so their my, side. So, my question is, then is that greedy? Or I think, is I think it, that's just is it about then, then yeah, is it yeah, about yeah, their yeah, sustainability? Yeah, yeah. Then it's just it's, it's just it's, about it's just their sustainability. Oper- so, operating which, costs, which then which then comes back down to just doing your homework and your due diligence on what on what the fuck it is. That but you're there's no into. homework or due diligence to do in this in this sense because that TikTok shit had nothing to do with artists. That had everything to do with Universal. That was the that was the contract that was written up with the other two thirds. They said that we had to go back to the table, and that's why TikTok is staying steadfast in what they're talking about. They're like, "Yo, we talked to the other two thirds of the music industry. They said we, you know, what I mean, we sat down and we made something that was going to be able to complement artists as well. The artists want to put put the music together, and we talked to their label." That houses them. So therefore, we made something that's conducive for all parties. Right. Universal is saying, fuck y'all, suck my dick. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You're going to pay us for what we're putting out there musically. Now, we can say that that's yes. That's what I mean by it's not fair, but there is fair business. What they're talking about, they're allowed to fucking think about it any way they want to. Right. But this is still unprecedented because artists don't know. Artists not. There's no artist being introduced to this. They artists just know they shit is played on TikTok and they get paid a residual what it is. Mm-hmm. You know the reason why this is so unprecedented because it's the same thing that happens with YouTube. It's the same thing that happens with Spotify. It's the same thing yeah. that happens with everything that goes on the internet. What the fuck is a stream? A worth? third party. Yeah. yeah what is a stream party, worth? Yeah. What is it worth for these for this music? And paid? they move the goalposts for exactly. every single different fucking streaming services. So exactly because before it wasn't like that. When, when it, back in the day when it was radio, you knew whatever was getting played on the radio. If you fucking ready, if you don't got paid a certain amount of times it was in the contract yo if your song gets paid you get 10 you get 10 cent you know what i'm saying off every time it's played yeah. we don't know what the fuck the, the radio station you know what i'm saying paid, was getting yeah. paid or or the fucking record company was getting paid for it. we just know what the artist was getting paid why is it that universal won't tell the artist what tiktok is going to pay them that's exactly now that's yeah. the greedy side of yeah. it that's the thought process of like yo you could at least tell me and if i decide to sign a contract cool but they want all the music you know what i mean to be a part of that they don't even want to give the fucking you. You could give an artist an option. True. You could give them an option. That's the reason why it's a little funky. But then again, it still might not be greedy because nigga, this is the way we conduct business. You little new little China TikTok niggas don't really. If this is not what y'all the way y'all want to fucking rock, <laughs> then get the fuck out my face. I'm taking all this shit down. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why. That's why I said it's not fair, but it's fair business because they're making the fucking market up as we speak. All of this shit is brand new. Yeah, and and that's the I'm about to say, and that's the that's the craziest part about it because they're the one they're the tastemakers for it. Yeah, they're the ones that draw the lines. They're the ones that make the the the, the milestones. Billboard is the one that determines who gets the Grammys, who don't. Yeah, so it's yeah. Just, all this shit is all, all of that all, shit come back down to nigga. Grammys come on tonight. Just try. I don't know. Just try to do that shit on your own as best you can because it's it's too much. It's it's too much. Niggas is Behind not- the scenes, and and it's not enough information being told, and information is being controlled. So the information that you do get is missing. It's misinformation. These rich niggas is not trying to hear that shit. I've like, been talking I got about the blackouts so, in the middle. A bunch of redacted. Yeah, we've been talking about hip yeah. hop, hip hop right. unions forever. Ooh. This shit is dumb. Yeah, 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 ain't niggas, nobody going. Ain't nobody do doing none ain't of that shit, man. These shit. niggas, like, the bitch, should have been like some sort of union with that shit, man. Niggas is how the fucking how the fucking the screenwriters get a fucking union, but. <laughs> That's because yeah. screenwriters that's and head of union. That, the majority since is, they is, started. is it because it's majority white people? The, but no, the that's screen, because the screen actors had a union. I mean, uh, the the writers had a union. Mm-hmm. Like when the shit started. Yeah. Mm. When movies when movies started, actually they started. They said we're not doing this shit unless we got a union. These niggas, you know why though? Because like, that, these that niggas stuff was been living since the nineteen hundreds. What happened was it became came to a point where these niggas was getting pennies. Pennies upon pennies and mm. fractions of pennies on a dollar. Fucking movie made a but billion, that's, I mean, and a that's billion the, dollars, and I got paid thirty thousand for it. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding but me, that's bro? Even, that's even and the I shit wrote it. The so sh- then, so then, but so then, the, who's the one what? that gets mad? Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. What? Because I'm just thinking about what you said, where you said this is um, unprecedented. Yes, but technically, that's what the actors were fighting about this summer. 
is that their shit is getting played mm-hmm. uh, other, on, other places on, and they're not getting paid for it. Their shit's getting played on right. Hulu. Right. That's what Scarlett Johansson was saying. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and like, was, how you know, Marvel wasn't got, paying her enough. You got ten cents, got uh, ten ten cents, ten dollars, whatever. Yeah, an episode of Homeland. Yep. being played on um on Hulu. Right. right, and she's not getting, you know. Yeah, like she only gets paid for what she signed the deal for. Mm-hmm. So anything anywhere else that that piece of uh, media is played. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. She doesn't get paid for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's fucking she crazy. Gets ten yeah. cents every time it's streamed. Yeah. And I, like I said, it, it's just it's an unprecedented time or whatnot. But I, I feel like to sum it up, and we wrap up after this. To sum it up, I think that a situation like greed is always in the high of the beholder. It's a situation that's subjective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because of some uh, somebody that has always been privileged will never ever feel as if that them wanting more is greedy. Mm-hmm. Fat niggas don't feel like, and I can speak from experience. And I think don't it's, feel, it's I don't want, feel like I'm I greedy when the, I want Big Mac sauce on my motherfucking burger, right, Kelly? Well, Big I Mac sauce so on the Kelly, burger ain't Kelly, crazy. Let me say so, so. Big Mac sauce on the fries is fat ass so, shit. So, but Ke- I think Kelly it's said difference me, between like, saying I want more, yeah. like even if like you're a Rockefeller, whatever, right, right? Saying I want more and I deserve more is two different things. Mm-hmm. Wait, why? Why, why, why? Because why, why? Why? some people come into the thing of, I deserve this, I deserve that, but you haven't done any work. Well, that's different. And yeah, I yeah, say I want more, point, yeah. and people are actually working towards wanting more. Yeah. Then that's different. Yeah. But it's still. It but be, how did you get that more, though? Like, became, were you stepping what, on did people's you, did you, backs? Did you start you with more? Conniving. Like, did you start with more than, right. like, like I said, if you're a Rockefeller, mm-hmm. you already came into this world mm-hmm. with more than what most have. Right. Right. Now, are you sitting there as a Rockefeller, not working, talking mm-hmm. about, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve. Yeah. No. But you were born into So it. is that inherited? But if I say I want more. And, yeah, that's inherited yeah. greed. How, wait, how the fuck can you inherit greed? This is, see, this is kind of what I'm saying. If the, somebody you're comes because, in. Because, because you I don't, don't come think in, it's inherited because, greed. Because you don't. It's greed that you oh, inherited. Right. Because you don't understand what you... Okay. What because you, you, you were born into this. Exactly. Like, you, you don't understand... Ta- my point. My point. Yeah, yeah. So, if you, if you were born into it, just like... It's, it's like anything else or whatnot that you're used to. It's that accustomed shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why women don't never go backwards. That's the reason why kids are spoiled as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Out here or whatnot because of the simple fact and it's harder for them to understand the obtain, like, especially uh, kids with two parents. Spoiled as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you'll get it from both ends. If you got two hardworking parents, they'll get you whatever it is that you want. Mm-hmm. It's harder for you to understand the premise of not being able to get that. So adulting is going to hit you harder because you're used to getting what the fuck you want when you want it. So therefore, it's not greed, it's ignorance. You just don't know any fucking better. So so my thing is that, but still, when you're overly privileged, according to what the world puts out there, that's when it becomes greed. So yeah, that's I don't feel like greed can be inherited. I believe, but I do. Like Kelly said, I do feel like yeah, it's you a, can, it's a, it's a, you know it's a big it's a greed, gray yeah, area. It is a gray area, I believe, right. because there's there's so many factors that go into and so many um, like variables that go into the situation of okay, you born into it. Okay, you were born into it. Did you do any work? After you were born into it, mm-hmm. okay, uh, the work that you did. Right, right. Who, or, like, did you get help with that work that you did? Because mm-hmm. that also had, it's like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah. I don't uh, know. Well, listen, mm. I guess as long as we got greedy people and people that consider people greedy and whatnot, we'll always have bosses and workers. Get with us on IG at Mr. <laughs> underscore know it all underscore pop. <laughs> The Facebook fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast Ooh. fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast on TikTok. And please, as always, send all of your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail account at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. That's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. And now it's time to say goodbye to all my Negro friends. And my Dominican. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you try to go viral again, huh? I'm gonna send that over to that page and whatnot. We yeah. <laughs> so, yo, what? Y'all, y'all, y'all got your ears pierced, right? Nah, I didn't. You know got your ears pierced? pierced? Nah. Hmm. I I look, after a long day, you have a like. I look gay with earrings. For real? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 
You get like the dangly ones. No, I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> the Jalen Hurts is. I tried to like, <laughs> yeah, I mean. like yo, I tried to like put like a little earring, like just on my earlobe just to see. I don't look right. Right, right. I don't, I don't, I it's do not, not for look everybody. Right. It's, it's not. not for everybody, really whatnot. But um, what I was gonna say was that you ever smell behind your ears? Mm. No, day. but I wash behind my ears. You ever dig in them little like crevices of oh, how, like your ears oh, and you Lord. pull out that uh that gunk? It's like it's y'all gunk. Yeah, it's gunk. Mm. It's like, y'all need to wash behind y'all ears. Yeah. yeah. When no. y'all wash your face, y'all don't wash behind of your ears. Of course you wash no, no, behind no, your not, ears. No, 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 like behind the ear, but sometimes I be forgetting like the little inside. No, part. I wash the whole ear yeah. inside like, and some, out. Like the little crevice, like all of this. But like, Kelly, I'll get on the inside, but I'll, I'll miss some of this sometimes. Kelly, yeah. stop playing. You done wore, you done, you done sweated and wore a wig. You wash your legs? Or something like that. Yes. You, you wash your legs? Yes. Like go all the way down to your legs. Yes. You wore, like the back, shins the, and all that. The yes. Back, the back of the wash leg. your feet? Yes. Okay. You wash the back of your leg? Yes. You wash your how, how, if you wash your leg, like this is me. So, okay, because mm-hmm. some people just stop right at the knee and just let the soapy water yeah, just drop. That's nasty. <laughs> but like the back of your ear, though, whatnot. It, just one day, no. after a long day, swipe no. behind there and, and smell, smell it. it. Yeah, no. and smell it. Yeah, no. yeah. It's a bit the same. Have, I, I have the same thing I like with the coup, like the coup for the butt dead. cheek, like the top I'll of the top of the ass like, crack. Damn. The, coup, the top after a long day, the top mm-hmm. of the ass crack and the coup for the butt cheek. Underneath it and whatnot, mm-hmm. it, it, it starts to get that ripe smell. It's the human body. Yeah. It's um, our cracks and women, crevices. Women in my situation, mm-hmm. that, that that's the least of their worries. Question. Um, it's the least. That's the least of the worries? It's the least of what's, the worries. What's the, what's, the, what's the most of the worries? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> so, the more ass you got. got it, right? The more, right. No, no. The more ass you got, are you- now, I ain't even worried about that. All right, all right, all right. Because I'll be thinking that- it's a, It is the least of my worries. Because everybody want a big ass, right? But don't- How that, do you sit on a toilet don't and take that, a shit? What you mean? You got a big ass? Just sit on the toilet. But I'm, I'm talking about, doesn't that make you more susceptible to, to hoping that if it get hot and sweaty and you doing something that it smell like ass? Like everybody want new ass. If your so ass Everybody get a bigger like ass. ass. So you get a bigger ass and you want more ass to smell like ass. What? Get your friend. Like, like somebody that got a big ass butt, mm-hmm. right? Ow. There's more susceptible to to butt smells. To like, I don't know if it's not butt if smell. it's clean. <laughs> if it's a clean, but yeah, like, like, but let's just say that person. Like, do you wash your ass? Yeah, but if you poop you that will. day, you could you 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 didn't wash after you pooped. If you have a lot of ass, but if but before I do something, I'm going to be clean. Whoa, what? no, Boy, get yeah. your horny ass out of here. Nobody right. said anything Nobody, about you yeah, getting none. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I gotta get ready for this bad shit. What the fuck is you talking about? Going to the deli market. (laughs) Like, if you just talk about it in a regular day, I mean, of course, that's what, you know, everybody worried about, you know. Everybody worried about smelling like ass. But you know what you did, you know. Here's here's a question that I I don't think a lot of people. You have those motherfuckers that just be. Yeah, just be banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nasty. What was you going to say? So, my question is do you have dirty days? Yep. What do you mean? Dirty days, like where you like you you don't get up, you don't wash your face, you don't you just around in the house, don't brush your teeth. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. wash your ass. Yeah. yeah. Just scratching your ass all day. Yeah. Just you mean you might even go out. You know what I'm saying you make you make a false move. Uh, you be like woo. Yeah. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Lift your arm up too fast. Yeah. Like oh damn. Yeah. It's about that time. By that time. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the hobbing and whatnot. I had, how how I long is your streak until you be like, all right, this is enough? How long a, is the streak? I had a weekend. A week that see no weekend, but I, weekend? I just I wasn't feeling well anyway. Yeah. Friday to Sunday, yep. From or Friday I, to Monday morning, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Friday. I got home from work, right? And right. Got in the bed, yeah. And you just is like letting it marinate. Like I slept. I woke up Saturday. I watched something. I went back to sleep. I woke up. Mm-hmm. I watched something. I went back, <laughs> went to, back sleep. to sleep. I got up, I went to the bathroom, I got back in the bed, I went back to sleep. Mm. Like, my mom's right. like, you need to get out. No, I'm good. And Monday morning, them sheets is brown. <laughs> <laughs> sheets is brown. <laughs> all right, y'all, man. We are the fuck out of here, man. I'm Mr. Know It All. This has been episode 173 of the Mr. Know It All podcast. That's Kelly Q. That's Scott Vibe. The vibe that is Scott. We will see you Vibaroni. next week. Vibaroni? Vibaroni? Vibaroni. I, see, if if I gotta be Custer, no, you 
We're gonna fuck up all names See, up here we since we want to call me Custer. Kelly got it like like there's like every once in a while Kelly come off the top rope with a corny clothesline. Like it's it's it's, it's coming. The Always vibe the Viberoni though. Mm -hmm. We couldn't think I'm of another name. One. I'm gonna get you one. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up your name too. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be such a smart mouth, Mister Know It All.